We would like this park cleaned up. Uh, we would like it to be a safe place again. Uh, we'd like to be able to take our children to the park. Right now, that's not something Jason Bax and many of his neighbors feel safe doing. Over at Clarence Square Park near Front and Spadina, a cluster of tents and other objects. Fortunately, during COVID, there's been an explosion of tents. Uh, now they have a generator. Uh, there's, there's been a number of fires. Video shared with us by a resident shows a fire among the tents. Thick smoke billowing, flames visible. Toronto Fire confirming there were no reported injuries and so far, no cause determined. In a letter shared with Global News, residents and businesses in the area are calling on the city to do more. Addressed to the mayor, local councillor Osma Malik, and Toronto Police Chief Myron Demke, it lays out a lengthy list of concerns. Among them, an alleged physical assault on a female employee from a nearby business, theft of goods and alcohol from local businesses, resulting in an inability to keep doors open for customers, harassment, human feces in the park, and tents being heated with propane tanks, a known fire hazard. What are you calling on the city of Toronto to do in order to get this park back for the residents? One of my original ideas when the armories were being offered was just move the whole crew of them over to one of the armories. They can stay together. Spadina Fort York Councillor and Deputy Mayor Malik tells Global News that while she understands and shares the concerns of residents, removing people from Clarence Square and other parks without adequate indoor shelter and housing has not had lasting results. Something outreach worker Lorraine Lamb also points to. I think a lot of people paid attention to the 2021 um, Trinity Bellwoods eviction. There was a big encampment there, again, because people had nowhere to go. But when they cleared out the park, also spent millions of dollars on policing on that eviction, um, people simply ended up at a different park. In her email to us, the deputy mayor says that she has been in touch with community members for the last several months. She's also been holding regular meetings with city staff in order to discuss some of the more immediate measures that can be taken. Among them, 24-hour on-site security, daily visits by outreach workers, as well as visits by Toronto Fire, who then remove items such as propane tanks and other potential fire hazards. Shalima Maharaj, Global News.